Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin and today I'm going to show you, y'all ready? I'm going to show you my entire Syngonium collection. So I've been planning to do this video uh, for a little bit. Ever since I put out that video of my entire Anthurium collection, I was like, Let's do Syngonium since they're my favorite. Let's just be real for a second. I am still drinking my coffee. I'm like half awake. <laughs> and yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, look at the Syngoniums. Also, side note, I wanna know how much coffee y'all drink because I wanna know if I'm crazy or not. So for myself, I drink, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I drink four shots of espresso right in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I do three. Is that too much? Seven shots of espresso a day, is that too much? Okay, I finished my coffee, we're ready to go. So a few of you might know that in the beginning of my plant collecting obsession, I hated syngoniums. I thought they were the ugliest thing. And like, I feel really bad. And I felt like I had so many lost opportunities in the past in regards to like acquiring Syngoniums. So yeah, we have a whole bunch. We have the Syngonium Podophyllum Albo Variegatum. We got the Syngonium Aurea. We have the Pink Splash. We have the Chia Pants, Syngonium Mojito, Syngonium Wendlandii, and some new ones. So I hope you guys stick around for that. So there's a lot in this video, but before I jump into it, if you're new here and you like these kind of videos, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. If you like plant pictures, I post pictures every single day. Okay, so let me just show you what I'm dealing with right now in my living room. I have a very small place. I've said that before, but I brought out all my syngoniums into this area here. And here's just a clip of all of them. Here are some elbows. Um, my living room has been taken over by my syngoniums and yeah, they're just hanging out, chilling, relaxing, all cool. But yeah, this is like honestly so crazy. Oh my God. Okay, so let's jump into the first one. So this is probably in my top three syngoniums. It is the Syngonium Aurea Variegata. So I got the Syngonium in the fall of 2020 and I did a really aggressive propagation once getting it. And looking back, I do regret doing that. But if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I'll put a link somewhere here in the screen. But yeah, I chopped her up. She's doing okay right now. Um, let me show you, I guess like, I don't know what to show you. <laughs> I'll just show you the prettiest one. So. Right now, this is the prettiest one. Oh my gosh. First of all, this leaf is just to die for. I wish all the leaves kind of had a more balanced uh, variegation situation. But I mean, also the yellow is just so pretty. And yeah, these plants are so interesting just because they have a type of Polaroid. I don't know if that's the right term. Um, variegation where this new leaf here you could see that there's some you know brighter green situations but through time they do fade to like this bright yellow here you could kind of see it in this leaf um it's not quite bright yellow it'll get to this stage um in the future but yeah i have one plant in here and then i mentioned this before but there's actually a second plant so yeah this is the second plant it's really sad it's only been giving me like yellow leaves so you can see all the crunchinesses over here um and i don't know because of the polaroid variegation i don't know if this is fully yellow or if there's a little bit of green and i feel that the only reason why it's still alive is because this this little tiny bit of green making the photosynthesis and it recently grew big enough i i have a couple more uh pots to show you but she grew big enough that this was a a really tall plant i cut her up so you could see that there are one two three new growth points coming from this one stem here and yeah I'm, ex I'm so excited and here are the propagations so i am currently propagating this aurea in pond as you can see let's see if we could see any roots i don't remember when i propagated this 
there's one route right over there um and that's it yeah i was nervous that i mean this was already happening before i propagated it but i thought like the leaves or the cuttings with a lot of yellow wouldn't do well but they're doing okay like i i'm feeling them they're pretty firm they're not floppy or anything and so yeah i think there's like four four or five cuttings in here so pretty oh my god let's see if we can hold them all okay so the first syngonium is the syngonium aurea variegata okay so moving on to the second syngonium so i'll just i'm just gonna bring you to them and then maybe i'll talk about a few of them because they're on the floor right now so these are all my abos i i only see thought that there were more which is hilarious but i think i just clustered a lot of them in one pot and that's probably what's happening here but yeah like a variety of like growing mediums like these two here are propagating in pond this one is well rooted in pond over here some soil propagations um, some water propagations here and then these three um, just over here these are my like mother plants that I take the cuttings from and they stay in LECA Okay, so I guess I'll bring a few and talk about a few of my favorite ones right now. Okay, so I guess I'll talk about this one that's on this coir. I don't want to say it's a plank, but I don't know what else to call it. Flat cocoa coir situation thing. But I really wanted a Syngonium Albo to mature. And funny enough, I chose one not, with not a lot of irrigation just because I was scared of like situations like this. Like I'm really scared that, although gorgeous, that this leaf is going to die. And for example, this plant is giving me another fully white leaf right over here. So I was trying to be careful, trying to pick a plant and looking at the stem to see a, um, what kind of irrigation it had and I settled with these ones <laughs> and even though they're like really green at the bottom the stems looked like they were pretty balanced and you could see that that's demonstrated in the top cuttings here so gorgeous balanced variegation right over here and then this new leaf here you could see just a little bit of white what are your guesses guys how long do you think it's going to take for these plants i think there might be i think there's like three or four in here how long is it going to take for them to reach the top over here it's crazy i love this plant oh my gosh she's so cute so this one's in pond i i am starting to love growing syngodiums in pond um this one is doing so great it's growing really quickly um yeah i mean i think LECA is always going to be like a really fast method to grow syngoniums, but Pawn is like a close second. Like she is growing. I currently have some propagations in Pawn over here. Let's see if we see some roots. So we got some roots over her. Then I'll rotate you, show you this green one. And then you could actually see some at the bottom. So cute. I probably need to repot those soon. And then the second one, right over here and right over here. And let's just quickly talk about this one again. <laughs> I'm in love with this. Like, I know there's like too much white and like obviously this part's going to die unless I chop her up and try to preserve more green. But she's a cutie and i was right i was going to i gifted my mom a different albo syngonium but i was going to give her this one and at the time i think there were only like two leaves but i was like there's a lot of white and my mom's gonna kill it so i was right um it's happening and yeah let's look at the water propagating ones right over here so you could see that there's a lot of cuttings here and there's like small roots growing they're doing their thing and yeah, I just, <laughs> I started doing this method just because I was just going around often to see if my elbow needed to be trimmed. And then I would take the top cuttings and kind of throw them into water here. And they're hanging out. 
So yeah, definitely a staple in a plant collector's collection. But the second Syngonium is the Syngonium Podophyllum albovergatum. Okay, so the third plant is going to be my Syngonium modeled mojito. And I feel like this plant doesn't get enough love. I don't know why, because I love her. Her variegation is very freaky. Maybe that's why people don't like her. But yeah, again, I've propagated this plant a ton. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine situations. I guess I'll go through them. So I'm currently, like the Albo, doing a lot of propagating. So I have these cuttings here that are propagating in water. They have small little roots here. Then I have my two mamas. Lekka is fallen, y'all. But my two mamas here, so they have a big like stem at the bottom. There's a ton of growth points just because I'm constantly propagating her. But I specifically for this one, I was cutting her back because she, she was putting out a lot of green. Like this is a plain green leaf. This is also predominantly green. This situation is green. So that's the reason why I've been chopping her up a little bit, but it's giving me a ton of variegation. So you could see that this new leaf is pretty mojito-y. So yeah, the thing I love about this plant is the variegation. It could present in two different ways depending how you're growing them. So I'm finding when I grow this plant in Lekka, she tends to put out more of this creepy Tim Burton-like, I guess like, I don't wanna say like camo, I don't know. But you could see that the leaves are kind of weirdly shaped. They look like they're sick, but they're not, I promise. Or let me find a good example here. This one is like a cutie. Okay, so they can usually look like this. I'm finding if I grow this in either pond or soil, they present in this manner. So you could see here that they kind of keep their leaf shape of a signature syngonium. And yeah, so I went through my propagations in water, my two mother plants in Lekka. I have a couple that have been in soil for quite a while. So these two are little cuties. I put them into soil because um, I'm planning to maybe sell these or trade them. Here are some recent propagations that I put into soil. Again, planning to sell them or trade them. Not anytime soon, don't ask. Um, but yeah. And lastly, I have two in Le Choux of Pound. So beautiful leaves, oh my gosh. So there are maybe two cuttings in here. She's a cutie. And yeah, I don't know how many cuttings are in here. I want to say one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. But again, you could see some root growth here, some root growth there. But yeah, I love this leaf. Where, where is it? Oh, this one. Okay. Okay. Can we, this is, I don't know. It's giving me like philodendron golden dragon or like lime fiddle like with the leaf shape i don't know it's so so pretty and so weird but yeah also <laughs> this is an example of this plant giving me green leaves so we'll see if it continues or if it'll just give me more model leaves so yeah again the third plant is the syngonium Mojito. Okay, so the fourth one is going to be the Syngonium Pink Splash. I've had some frustrations with this plant. Um, I, do you know what? I think I could confidently say that it is one of the slower rooting or slower growing Syngoniums that I own. And like, I mean, I don't know why. Maybe they don't like Lekka. <laughs> Maybe they will benefit from, you know, being in soil or pond. So I only have like four situations here. So I'll start off with the mama. So again, Syngonium Pink Splash. She doesn't have a lot of pink splash, but this leaf is just to die for guys. Oh, it has like the three leaf situation, but it's not like ready yet. Look at her. But yeah, she's been like putting out smaller leaves. 
not a lot of pink. You could see the newest leaf over here is predominantly green. Some dying leaves at the bottom, which is normal. Um, there has been a lot more growth, so it's probably pulling. It's probably pulling nutrients. But here's the second one. This is one of my propagations that I did a while ago. I want to say more than six months ago. This new leaf is, I love when they come out. They're just like glossy and like this deep green and like the pink over here is so pretty. Um, so that's her. There's a second plant here. I don't know what happened, but there was a leaf yellowing and I was very sad because I thought it was rotting away. But look guys, there's a new growth point. So I pulled off the yellow leaf and it revealed this beautiful green uh, growth here. So I'm happy. Okay, let's move on to the struggle buses here. So, okay. I recently, <laughs> it looks really sad over in the screen here. Okay, so I recently took propagations from these two mamas and I put them straight into pond. So you saw this with my Aurea, you saw this with my Albo, you saw this with Mojito, my Mojito. They're all doing fine. They all live in the same place. I'm not doing anything different. Okay, glad that's out of the way. They started <laughs> to do a number on me. Like, oh my God, so cute. <laughs> and then this, like this one, this one, I don't know. They like honestly suck at rooting. So. Um, these two had okay roots. Uh, do you know what? Let me pull them out. Yeah, like for example, this one's rooting okay. Cute. And then this baby one. Oh my god, there's more roots. Okay, so she had like one. Now you could see a few. There's a new growth point that didn't exist before. This leaf looks sad, but that's really promising. So essentially when I saw, you know, these leaves doing a number, I took the ones that didn't have any new roots and I put them into water. This has since, this one specifically, <laughs> the ones, the one that looks dead, um, has since bounced back since I just took it out of water. And that's like a recommendation. I mean, since I took it out of a uh, pond, this is a recommendation that I would say, um, I would do if your plant is kind of looking like this. Take it out of soil, take it out of leka, take it out of pond, and just put it in plain old water. Change the water every two days just so there's a limit in terms of bacterial growth. And like, look at this beauty. She has a few roots, a few growth points. Cute. This one here is still not doing anything. Same with this one. She's being a little bit of a challenge. Not rotting, it's just the color of the stem here. And lastly, I mean, there's some over here, but another sad situation. So they're gonna stay in water. This one, I'm not gonna move yet. I'm gonna keep it the way it is. And yeah, so let's just bring the cute ones here. But again, the fourth plant, the Syngonium Pink Splash. Yeah, I'm filming. <laughs> Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Do y'all have that friend that just calls you nonstop, but you like love her so much that you just have to answer? That's, that's not her. She's, she's trash. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so weird to her. Okay, let's just start with my Wenlandii eyes here. So the fifth plant is my Syngonium Wenlandii. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pots here. Let's start with a big one. So like the Albo, I want to train her and see, you know, how the leaves mature. So when these leaves are juvenile, they have this beautiful white silver streak here. And I just think that's gorgeous. Sadly though, <laughs> as they mature, they lose that stripe, but they become more of a tri-leaf shape. So you could kind of start seeing it with one of these leaves here. So now it's just like a stripe. Again, she's attached to this really tall Coca Coir situation. And yeah, here's the first one. The next two are in Lekka. So this one is my mother plant. There's actually three in here. So 
right over here little cuties they're a bit smaller because they took like aggressive cuttings like huge cuttings so these are just like offshoots of of what it was these are my propagations i took i want to say like 20 cuttings and i put them straight into leka so i didn't start them off in water um, i threw them straight into leka and that's why it looks like this um, the new growth is just pulling from the older growth so this is normal also the roots are fine i checked uh i currently took some water propagation so here are a few over here they're little babies and the rest is in soil so these two have been in soil for a bit again acclimation that it's fine the roots are fine guys they're cuties here they've been in soil for about a month now okay so the last two is a recent transfer she is in the small cute i think it's a three inch pot over here and this one is the one that i want to show you so kind of seeing the leaf mature so it's becoming a tri-leaf shape with a small little stripe here this was one of the top cuttings from one of the mature um you know parts of the mother plant so how exciting a lot of people don't like how it looks like when it matures but i just want to see plants in different stages i want to see how they act i want to see how they develop and it's it's just really exciting also, I'm sure you guys know that this was a free plant that I got a couple years ago or close to a couple years ago. It was just thrown in the box just as an add-on. And like, I'll put a clip here if I still have it. Oh, like she was, first of all, she looked like she was dying. She had three leaves or two leaves. And I just cannot believe I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pots now and like there's multiple plants in each pot so like a lot okay so the syngonium land landii okay i think i have one two three four five six oh my god i have six syngoniums left let's start off with another one of my favorites let's go to my syngonium chia pens so i don't have my entire chia pens collection i think there's maybe six plants in one big pot in soil it's against the window it's kind of out of the way i have a bunch of my crawlers like my pasta my plow plow and my my gloria so i don't want to disturb anything there's some new growth happening i don't want anything to break so i have a few here they're still as stunning if not more stunning so here are a few of my propagations these are two propagations here so they're putting out leaves that are so cute and they're like i don't want like are they like a buttery texture i have no idea if that's the right term but they're just like not the old ones this is a rough but like <laughs> so nice so there's two plants in here you could see that there's new growth here and over here and yeah another one over here <laughs> so these are three four cuttings and let's talk about this for a second <laughs> syngonium chia pens cuttings they do not root quickly number one and i think because of like the size of the stem they're more prone to rot and they their stems are more um like juicy so i have personally experienced a ton of rot with syngonium chia pens cuttings you could see that these are doing all right like there's one here that i'm just seeing right now um <laughs> not doing so great and yeah i don't know if it's rot but she's not moving so i don't want to i don't want to disturb her and then my last two situations here are in water so let's see if there's any i think there's only one cutting putting out new roots and it's this bottom one here these plants and also other plants they tend to put new growth Ooh, i'm dropping everything for example no new roots but she's putting out a little baby here same with this one no roots putting out a baby and yeah i'm starting because all of these cuttings in this cup 
um, specifically. They came from like a big, big plant. I'll put a picture here. Um, yeah, like it was gigantic and I want to make more. So here they are. But I'm finding that because a lot of the aerial roots are nodes, aerial roots uh, were older and drier. That's why they're taking forever to root. That's not always the case. I've seen it happen with um, older parts of the stem, but with the chia pen specifically, I'm seeing that a lot. And so what I'm doing, every time I see new growth, um, I take a cutting because those roots are really, really fresh and hydrated. So I recently, like, I don't even know how long ago this was. This was not too long ago. But you could see there are new roots growing already and even like up here so cute and then this one ish kinda <laughs> so again guys the i don't know what number this is <laughs> this plant is a syngonium chia pens okay my camera's overheating oh this this always happens okay i'm gonna go a little quicker plus i need to get I need to get somewhere in like 15 minutes. So let's do this. I have a real obsession with syngonium and it's a problem. But this syngonium is probably going to be one of my favorites. So hopefully I don't kill it because I just transferred it into Lekka. But this is the syngonium. I think it's green spot or gray ghost. I don't know why it's called gray ghost. But the thing I love about the syngonium, she's a little baby right now the dark green speckling on top of the light green slash pink like do you see that pink insane i i can't even ah, i'm so excited oh my gosh this oh oh my gosh it's a plant again i didn't know i needed there's another plant on this list or that'll show you that i didn't think i needed until i saw it and this little baby is so cute. I have never seen this before. I just saw it like two weeks ago and I was like, girl. <laughs> yeah, I don't have too much to say about this one. But again, it's such a cutie. Look at that baby pink. Oh, like crazy. Okay, so the Syngonium green. Okay, so this next one is the Syngonium Freckles. <gasps> okay, another plant I was like, mm, I don't get it. But then I saw it when I received it in the mail. And I was like, wow. Okay, so I'll show you these leaves. I don't even know how to describe it. It kind of looks like a mess, but like, aren't we all a mess? So I can relate. Like, they can have like kind of like a Batik Three Kings magic marble vibe. And do you know what? I cut her in half and then I threw her into Lekka. So she feels okay. This was literally like two days ago. So yeah, I'm hoping for the best, but she she's fine, I think. Okay, so the Syngonium, what is it? There's too many of them. Freckles, Syngonium, freckles okay so y'all this plant again was on my wish list for two years i saw it once two years ago and then i didn't see it again so this is the syngonium three kings slash magic marble i am obsessed with this like creamy green or light green border that it has and like all the leaves look so different like insane here's one with basically all cream and then one with like a lot of green and like it's funny that like right now at least in like canada but i'm sure like you know in the states and across the world really this plant is being sold a lot and i'm just like crazy 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 this must be a sign that i need to buy it because again i saw this plant two years ago on one online store i didn't get it it was in my cart i didn't get it and then i never saw it again 
until this year. And so I was like, I got to snatch it, got to snatch it, y'all. So again, she was in soil. I recently transferred her to like a couple days ago. She's doing OK. And yeah, yeah, this plant over here is the Syngonium Three Kings. OK, I have one more, y'all. So this one, um, she wasn't doing that great. I was just, I was still so excited and like, I'm forgetting the name of it. It's like, anyways, I'll show, I'll show you like a leaf to um, demonstrate. Ooh, I'm spilling water. Oh my, oh, <laughs> okay. Let's just pour the water out. Okay, so this is the Syngonium Pink, is it pink spot? I think it's pink spot. But you could see the leaves come out this like cute pink and they have like this speckling and it's just like so cute. I think they do fade to green because for example, this leaf here is fully green-ish and then you could see some light speckling with this one. But yeah, I am currently, um, oh, this one's pretty, look at her. Um, so I got her a few days ago. Um, she felt really limp and yeah, I just decided to put it into water because that's usually what I do with Syngoniums. I put her in a bright lit area. So she's kind of just sitting like this in time. She's going to grow new roots. So, I mean, I'm not worried. Beautiful plant. So cute. This one also, I didn't know existed and then I saw it and I was like, oh my God, you're gonna be mine. But anyways, the Syngonium pink spot. Y'all, do you hear the sirens? Oh my, oh, it's an ambulance. Oh God, people get out of the way, man. Okay guys, I guess that's it. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm having so many issues. I don't know why. My camera keeps overheating, but yeah, I guess if I'm filming for a long time, it's gonna overheat. Duh, Kevin, why Why was that so hard for you to like, oh my God, it's like, it's telling me it's like real hot. Okay, so if you enjoyed this kind of video, I might do like Monsteras or Philodendrons or even Hoyas. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section below and also, are y'all Syngonium haters? I was a hater before, but now I love them. They're just great plants. They're, um, they do well in LECA and pond and soil. They really do well in any medium and they're pretty resilient, I would say. And if you have any questions about how I care for my Syngoniums, I might do a video about that because I think, I think I got a handle on taking care of Syngoniums. But yeah, leave that in the comment section below if you want to see that. And if you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And honestly, guys, I really, I really do appreciate it. I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers. Like that is insane. I can't even like, I just like, <laughs> it's insane. I'm like so shocked by that. But always know that I, really appreciate you guys and thank you so much for all the support i truly appreciate it thank you okay so i guess i'll see you guys later bye